Hey, what's good with you? It's Scorp the Engineer, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to add multiple MIDI outs in FL Studio. So, um, if you have, uh, in this instance, I have Sonic Synth, but this applies to Sonic Synth or Sample Tank, um, any VST that you have that has that allows you to have multiple channels inside of it. Uh, you can set it to where you can use as many of those channels as you need to uh, without loading separate instances and basically this idea comes from um, I saw a friend set up and basically what he had is he had a sonic synth loaded and then he went in here and he also added like um, another sonic synth on top of it like this so he's running two instances of sonic synth and he has one sound loaded in his main channel and the reason why is that he couldn't figure out even though it had eight channels once he, if he loaded something on these other channels he couldn't get it to play all right uh, so I don't know let's say he threw in a piano right here over here on the keyboard it's cool but once he added in strings on number two, he couldn't get it to play. And that's because he had, didn't set up his MIDI out. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. One, you're going to add, for one, you're going to add your sonic sound, just like I did. Uh, two, you're going to pick your primary sound that you want to start out with. And this is tied to your keyboard. All right, now, uh, let's see. On the second channel, you found some synths that you like, right? All right, so we'll do something complex and I notice that it's playing from one from my MIDI com keyboard is playing uh, channel one and I'm sorry if I'm stuttering I'm kinda winging this as I talk alright if in order to get this to play channel two if I click it's gonna play but it's not gonna do it on the keyboard so what I have to do is I have to click this little cock wheel right here I have to change my input port to uh, pick a number, I'll pick zero. All right. Um, I already have this one up here set for one. This is my demonstration, but this is just going to show you from scratch. I'm going to set this to zero. Then I'm going to go channels, add one, MIDI out. I'm going to set this port right here, this port number. I'm going to set it to zero, and then I'm going to set it to the channel that I'm trying to control. I'm trying to cha control channel two, so I'm going to set this. MIDI out to channel 2. Now when I play on my keyboard you'll see that it's going to control that sound. If I wanted it to control channel 1, I just change this to channel 1. And you can, a simple way to do this is like let's say I wanted it to control this to control channel 1 and the other one I want to add a new one I just go right click clone it's gonna copy the exact same settings and uh, I'm gonna change this channel to 2 so now I have one on channel 1 and another on channel 2 this one is gonna control the piano this one will control the synthesizer and I can do that I have eight channels in here all I have to do is follow those same steps add eight of these and change the channel make sure the port matches this and there you have it so when you add it all together um, in this in this situation I have uh, this other sonic synth on input port 1 I have these five sounds right here um, on port 1 there's channel 1 channel 3 channel 4 channel 5 and channel 2 alright uh, these are the sounds click on this cog to go back these are the sounds I have loaded and each one of these are going to control each one of those sounds So, there you have it. Then put it all together, throw it into a project, and you end up with uh, something like this. you got it. Peace out.